amazing store box. What can I get started for you? Uh, yes, ma'am. So I have a question. Do you keep the Kerrygold butters? Yes, we do. Nice. Okay, so I want to make a keto coffee. So pretty much... Oh, okay. Uh, have you ever heard of that? Yeah, like but coffee to butter? Yes, yes. The so, guy right next to me drinks it all the time. Nice, nice. Okay, okay so, so yeah, it for you. yeah. So I'll get the grand. I'll get a grande um, a latte, but made with heavy whipping cream. Okay. And then, can you put three of those butters? Can you blend them into the coffee? Yeah, we can melt them in. Is oh that yeah, okay? yeah, that's fine. Okay. And anything else? And that'd be it. Okay, heavy cream latte, three butters stirred in. That is going to be four sixty. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. All right, so I got a snap the other day, and someone snapped me that you could get keto coffee at Starbucks now. Now, you guys know that I'm, like, huge with coffee. I absolutely love coffee. I love Starbucks. I love getting my coffee in the morning. But the one thing about Starbucks is they don't really have a keto coffee, or they hadn't had a keto coffee. Uh, what you had to do is get, like, a coffee with heavy whipping cream. You can maybe add a little Splenda here and there, but, again, a lot of people don't like to uh, use artificial sweeteners. I, being one of those persons, I, I'm trying to stay away uh, from artificial sweeteners this time uh, through the keto diet so when someone snapped me that I was like okay I absolutely have to try that so uh, they actually do guys so I went to Starbucks right now and I got a grande latte made with heavy whipping cream and I got three Kerrigan butters uh, mixed in now the only thing I'm missing is the uh, MCT oil, some people add that to their coffee, coconut oil, and then I, that, that's it. But um, pretty much, I'm getting my keto coffee at Starbucks, and I'm freaking excited. So uh, let's see how it tastes. Uh, so you do keto, right? Yeah, I do keto. I've been doing it for a few months now. Okay, nice. And you said you watch my videos? I do. That's yeah. awesome, man. I've been a real big help. Oh, it's awesome. Sweet. I thought it was funny because I was watching your videos, uh -huh. and then I saw you pull through at Starbucks. I was like, oh, cool. And then, like, pull through and... Well, like, oh, heck yeah, you're gonna make this vlog for sure. <laughs> so that was actually really cool, guys. As I was ordering my keto coffee, uh, the guy was, one of the barista, Eric, we were talking, he was like, yeah, yeah, I do keto and this and I was like, oh, you do keto, do you, uh, do you watch my, you know, I do YouTube. He's like, oh yeah, I watch your videos, I watch them all the time. I was like, dude, that's freaking awesome that, I don't know, man, it, it, still, it still blows my mind whenever someone's like, hey, I watch your channel, uh, especially from my hometown because uh, my audience isn't really that big here in my hometown. Uh, but I've noticed over the last couple of months that I'm starting to get people who are watching my video uh, from my hometown, which is really, really cool. So shout out to Eric at Starbucks doing the keto diet. He's lost 30 pounds, so that's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, gonna try this keto coffee right now and see how it tastes. Oh, man, not bad. Actually, that's, that's freaking good. That is freaking good, guys. Okay, so everyone's watched this video. Go to Starbucks, get your keto coffee. That tastes amazing. All right, I gotta head to work. We'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody, so my mom was so nice. She ended up making me some lunch. As you can see, uh, she made me four eggs and then four slices of bacon. You can't really see the bacon because it's covered up by the eggs, uh, but this is gonna be my lunch for the day. Shout out to my mom. If she's watching this, thank you, love you. Uh, but I'm gonna scarf this down. And I also wanna answer some questions on Snapchat, guys. Um, this is something I kinda just wanna do regularly because I get really good questions on my Snapchat. And um, sometimes I'm just like, oh man, I wish you would have asked me that when I was filming. So anyways, I'm going to go through my Snapchat, answer a couple questions, and hopefully this benefits you because I get a lot of questions. And you learn a little bit of something at the same time. So, alright, so here we go. All right, guys. So that was a good question. Uh, so, what do I do when I go out when I go out to eat with the family, or there's some type of event, and we're eating at a restaurant? Um, do I stay away from the sides? And the question is yes. So, like, there's a really good Mexican restaurant here in my hometown called Garcia's, and they're like famously known for their chips. Their chips and hot sauce are like absolutely heaven. I promise you guys. If you're in San Marcos, go to Garcia's and tell me you don't like those chips. I dare you to. Anyways, long story short, the chips will get you in trouble. I stay away from tea. Tea has a lot of carbs in it. I stay away from tea. So it's just, I just drink water. I try to stay away from the chips as much as I can. Like I just push them away from me, get away from me. And I order, I always order like some chicken. Yes, avocado, 
or steak. Um, I'll maybe have one quart one corn tortilla because one corn tortilla is like 15 grams of carbs. So technically it does fit, but it'll take up half your carbs. So yes, stay away from all those side things. They will get you in trouble very, very quick. All right, so when calculating carbs, uh, net carbs, do I minus the alcohol sugar? Uh, one, I try to stay away from anything that has alcohol sugar, so that's one. And two, no, if, if I did take it, I would not count it. So hopefully that uh, answers your question. Pretty short, pretty simple. Stay away from it, and if you do, don't count it. Okay, so last question, and this is actually a pretty good one because I can relate. So the guy's asking, he's gonna go to a crawfish boil. If you don't know what a crawfish boil is, guys, it's pretty much, it's like this, they make this big pot of crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and red potatoes, and they dump it all on the table, and everyone just sits around it and just like picks and eats, and it's like freaking delicious. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but when you're on keto, unfortunately, the only thing you can pretty much have is the crawfish, the shrimp, the sausage, and that's pretty much it. You gotta stay away from, stay away from the corn, stay away from the potatoes, stay away from that red uh, sauce that they use for, I think it's like cocktail sauce. Stay away from that. Um, yeah, stay away from the corn, obviously. Uh, but I hope that answers your question. Man, crawfish bowl, man. I really want to do one here pretty soon. I haven't done one in a long time. I used to host those at my house all the time. So uh, that is a good, good question. So that's going to be it for the Snapchat Q&A. If I didn't answer your questions, I do apologize. Leave your questions below in the comment section or go to my Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat at Goody Beats. And uh, we'll see you on the next clip. What's up, everybody? So I want to touch on a certain topic, guys, and that topic is keto flu. I know you hear this all the time. What is keto flu? How do I get over keto flu? How do I avoid the keto flu? And uh, just I'm going to give you some tips, but let me just answer this question because I get asked all the time, how do I deal with keto flu? Well, one, I don't get keto flu. I've never gotten keto flu. And let me tell you the reasons why I've never gotten keto flu. And these are these and these are the same reasons on how to get over keto flu and how to overcome it. So one, number one thing, guys, drink water. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Um, that's like, I, 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 I sometimes I just don't understand like what people don't understand like how important water is. Like it gives you energy. It flushes out your body. It's just water is so good for you and a not and a lot of us don't drink enough of it. So water 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 guys water drink your damn water drink anywhere from a gallon to half a gallon um, a day now by drinking that much water guys you're flushing out a lot of electrolytes in your body which is causing the keto flu so it's almost kind of like drink water it's good for you but you're also will be causing another effect but that's okay all you got to do Go down to your vitamin store, whatever, I don't know, your local grocery store, whatever, and get yourself some magnesium pills right here, guys. Magnesium pills, you need that. It gives you energy. It keeps your electrolytes up. Um, that's why you see a lot of people on the keto diet, you know, are very big on eating salted foods. Make sure you're eating a lot of salt. Make sure you're, you, you can drink like a broth to drink, uh, chicken broth, beef broth, whatever. Just drink it like you're drinking a cup of tea. Um, electrolytes is big, guys. So if you're drinking enough water, that means you're going to be flushing out a lot of electrolytes. You're going to need to put that back into your body. It gives you energy, gets you over the keto flu. You won't get the fogginess in the head. You won't get the headaches. You won't get like, I don't know, I hear I hear like so many different stories of people getting like some like weird symptoms. Like they, they shake, their headaches, they just weird stuff but this will solve it I promise another thing get yourself some potassium pills guys potassium pills now this is a supplement guys so supplement what does supplement mean it's secondary that's if you don't if you didn't get any potassium in your diet uh, for the day or any you didn't get any potassium in your food then you take pills but to avoid that eat avocados guys avocados one they're super they're, they're a super they're a super food they're really good for the keto diet and they're packed with potassium which is good for you which will give you energy get you to avoid the keto flu so those three things guys will help prevent and get you over the keto symptoms the keto flu whatever you want to call it those three things 
drink water, potassium, and magnesium. Now, your final, final, final thing, guys, that I just want to touch base on. Maybe it has nothing to do with the keto flu. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. In my opinion, it does. And the biggest thing is, guys, you're not eating enough fat. So many people want to do the keto diet. They message me, hey, I'm doing the keto diet. This is where my macros are. What do you think? And I'm like, dude, you're eating 160 grams of protein, 90 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs. Like, that's not the keto diet, guys. Our the keto diet, the whole reason why it works is because we're teaching our body, our bodies how to run off of fats. We're teaching our bodies to use fats as energy. If you're not eating enough fats, where's your energy gonna come from? Of course you're gonna get the keto flu. Of course you're gonna be, you're gonna have a fog and you're not gonna be able to think straight and you're gonna have a headache and and your body's so used of getting your body's so used to getting energy from carbs its natural preferred source and then you take that away and then you're only gonna give it like 70 80 grams of fat like come on like that's just not that's not gonna work sure you'll lose fat because or you'll lose weight because you're like in a deficit and of course like anybody who's like barely feeding themselves you're naturally gonna lose uh, some water weight and some fat but that's not the way you want to lose it guys so number four thing is make sure you eat enough fat and if you're gonna do the keto diet make sure you understand that it is a high fat diet do not be scared of fat fat doesn't mean you're gonna get fat fat is just a source of food like proteins carbs fats like it's just a word that I feel that people have um, turn into like some shaming word and oh you're eating fats oh you're gonna get fat and it's like no you're not no you're not actually the opposite is gonna happen I'm going to burn fat and I'm gonna use fat and make it my bitch I'm gonna make it my <laughs> I'm gonna use it as energy I don't mean to cuss I normally don't cuss but that's what you gotta do when you're on the keto diet you can say I'm gonna make fat my bitch and I'm gonna use it as energy and I'm gonna just get lose weight I'm gonna look great I'm gonna feel great and I'm gonna have tons of energy so yeah um, I don't know how long I'm talking. I, I feel like I've been rambling on for a little bit, uh, but that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did like this keto video. Uh, I feel like the keto flu was something that I just needed to touch base on. I needed to talk about because I get I get a question about the keto flu daily. So I hope this answers your question. Drink your water. Take your potassium pills, or just eat potassium. Take your magnesium pills, and make sure you eat enough fat. Hope you guys learned something. Give your thumbs up if you did. Leave your comments below. And if you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button. Why haven't you subscribed, man? Come on. We're on vlog number seven. Hit that subscribe button, man. Anyways, guys, we'll see you on vlog number eight. I'm out. Peace. show you my last meal of the day. So I got a chipotle bowl, steak, carnitas, guac, cheese, and lettuce. So that's gonna be it. This is my post-workout meal. So okay, I'm officially gonna end the video. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.